Now, let's try question C. The function is written in rational form and at the same time, you will see that the highest degree for numerator and denominator are equal which is x to the power of 2 based on what I have explained earlier when you reach to this type of, of case basically the answer is equal to the coefficient of the highest degree of the numerator divided by the coefficient of the highest degree of the denominator or we will eventually divide the whole term at the numerator and denominator with the highest degree of the denominator which is x to the power of 2 in this case I will get limit 5x squared divided by x squared plus 8x over x squared minus 3 over x squared and divide the whole thing with 3x squared over x squared plus 2 over x squared as x approaches infinity and then let's try to simplify it limit of 5 plus 8 over x minus 3 over x squared divide by 3 plus 2 over x squared as x approaches infinity based on what we have learned earlier this term will be 0 this term also 0 and this term will also become 0 and then I will get limit of 5 over 3 as x approaches infinity according to limit loss technique my final answer will be 5 over 3 which confirm my generalization earlier which is when you come across with this type of case you will end up having answer as the coefficient of the highest degree of the numerator divide by the coefficient of the highest degree at the denominator as your answer let's try the final question of example one where again the rational function is given to us before this i did explain when the degree of the numerator less than the degree of the denominator you will end up having zero as the answer but eventually when you have this question you have to divide the whole term at the numerator and denominator with the highest degree of the denominator where in this case the highest degree is s to the power of 3 then I will get limit of 11x divided by x cubed plus 2 over x cubed divided by 2x cubed over x cubed minus 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity and then I will get limit 11 over x squared plus 2 over x cubed divided by 2 minus 1 over x cubed as x approaches infinity based on the knowledge that we have known earlier this term will become 0 this term 2 will become 0 and this term will become 0 then I will get limit as x approaches infinity 0 over 2 and according to the rule in limit loss 
my final answer is zero for this particular question which again confirm to the generalization that I have explained earlier. I hope you can do example two on your own so that you know on how to solve problems related to finding limit of a function by using analytical approach as x approaches infinity. Now let's discuss one of the question of exercise one. This time around I choose question B since it is different than what we have discussed earlier. Let me write the solution for question B. In order to solve this problem, you have to remember since the function is written in rational form, so the idea will always remain the same, which is we have to divide the terms at the numerator and the denominator with the highest degree of the denominator which is in this case x to the power of 1. Now let's do just that. Limit set x squared minus 1 divide by x divide by 4x over x minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Now I would like to simplify the function of the limit which is limit 1 over x set x squared minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Now, pay attention at the numerator part because it is written in terms of 1 over x times set x squared minus 1. I would like to bring your attention to recall back what we have learned regarding radical function before this such as we know that if we have set a times set b is equal to set a b if you look at the first term at the numerator part which is 1 over x it is not written in term of set notation we have to be creative so that we are able to present 1 over x in some sort of term that involves set notation. We know for sure if we have 1 over x, it is also equal to 1 over set x squared or 1 over x squared set 1 over x squared. Now, let me try to rewrite it. I will have limit 1 over x squared. Set 1 over x squared times, not 4, but x squared minus 1. And divide the whole thing with 4 minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Now, let's use this information to simplify it further. In this case, I will get limit 1 over x squared times x squared minus 1. I'm, I am able to put it into one set only. I will get 4 minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity. Now, let's simplify it again. In this case, I will get limit 
third 1 minus 1 over x squared divided by 4 minus 1 over x as x approaches infinity now let's make use of the knowledge that we have gained before this we know for sure that when x approaches infinity this term will become zero this term will also become zero and then i will get limit of one, set one over four as x approaches infinity by using limit loss technique i know that the answer is 1 over 4 i hope you can spend more time to answer question in exercise 1 and exercise 2 till then bye